Yo, Dad, I'm going shopping, right? I swear, these kids have nothing better to do. All right, got you, man. Hey, hey, don't rush off. Let me tell you what you need to get. No, no, don't worry about it. Okay, but make sure you don't get any Coca Pops or any Pringles, because I've got that this morning. Ah, oh, he's closed the door, he's gone already. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my book. Your dad, I'm back. Oh, you're back? Yeah. Okay, let's see what you got then. I'm super excited, I'll tell you what I got. I got one, two, three. That's not all, I'll tell you. I got four Coca Pops and I got one, two, three Pringles. Yes, Dad, look at that. Snacks galore. Okay, that's fair enough, but I told you before you went out in such a rush that I already went shopping and I got you your Pringles and your two packs of Cocoa Pops. What are you gonna do with all of this now? What? You need to say nothing to me. No, doesn't matter. You don't even know how much you paid for it. How much I paid for it? 13 reals. Okay, I'll tell you what, as long as you can tell me how much you paid for all the Pringles and the Cocoa Pops, I'm not gonna get you to do some extra chores. How much does each one cost? I don't know. I didn't ask for a receipt. Okay, I reckon between my two boxes and my pack of Pringles and your four boxes and three pack of Pringles, we can figure it out. Okay, come on then, I've got my iPad. I'm gonna show you exactly how much the Pringle uh, pack costs and how much one of these Coco Pops box. Coco Pops box costs. Come on, hurry up. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Okay, so before we do anything, let's define our variables. Uh, we're just gonna keep this simple and we're gonna say P is for Pringles and C is gonna be for the Coco Pops. So remember, you bought three packs of Pringles and four Coco Pops box, so we're gonna call that 3P plus 4C. And earlier on, I bought one pack of Pringles, so 1P and two boxes of Coco Pops. I told you that it cost me six reals and you told me that it cost you 13 reals. So we can use that information to solve this equation graphically. Now, in order to plot any graph, we only need two points. We need point A and point B, okay, wherever they are, doesn't really matter. And then we can draw a straight line through those points to get a graph. Now, the same is true here. If you look at our equations, we've got 3P plus 4C is equal to 13, and 1P, or just P, plus 2C is equal to 6. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these two equations, I'm going to say 3P plus 4C is equal to 13. And the only two points that I really want to know is where it crosses the y-axis and where it crosses the x-axis. In other words, I'm trying to work out the axis intercepts, okay? That's what I'm going to work out. This part here where it crosses and this part here where it crosses. Now this is called the x-axis intercept and this is of course the y-axis intercept. I just need two points in order to draw this straight line. And I want to explain to you that if I find the y-axis intercept, that my x value at this point here is going to be zero. x is equal to zero. And when I want to work out the x-axis, I know that y is equal to zero. And let me just show you. When, I, when this line cuts through this point here, okay, remember here, the y-axis, y is going up, isn't it? y is currently at zero. y is equal to zero. So we can use that information to find two points to draw this line. I want to work out the y-axis intercept. And I know that the y-axis intercept, when x equals zero, y is equal to what? And I can do the same thing on this side. Now the problem that we're facing in our equation, we don't have an x and a y. So what do we do? So I've made a, a graph already and I've labeled my y-axis P for Pringles and my x-axis C for Cocoa Pops. So let's go back and do that. So we can change the y-axis into P and we can change the x-axis into C. So let's do that here. So when C is equal to zero, what is the value of P? And again here, when C is equal to zero, what is the value of P? So let's work this out then. If C was zero, so we've got three P plus four times a zero is equal to 13. Remember, I'm just trying to work out the axis intercepts. Four times zero is zero, that cancels out. If I divide this by three, divide this by three, the three is going to cancel out on the left hand side. I'm going to have P is equal to 13 over three or four and one third, okay, or 4.3333 reoccurring. So that's one set of coordinates that I have. I know when that C is equal to zero or in other words, X, when X is equal to zero, we have a value of four and a third. Okay, that's one point that we're going to plot. Let's do the same thing for the second equation over here. 
we've got when c is equal to 0, p plus 2 times 0 is equal to 6. This cancels out. That means p is equal to 6, which is going to be 0, comma, 6. Now all we need to do is work out the x-axis, or in other words, the c-axis intercept. When p is equal to 0, what is the value of c? Again, the c-axis intercept. When p is equal to 0, what is the value of c? So let's work this out then. What we're going to do is we're going to substitute the value of p is equal to 0. So 3 times 0 plus 4c is equal to 13. Anything times 0 is 0. Uh, so we get 4c is equal to 13. If we divide both sides by 4, the 4 cancels out on the left-hand side, which means c is equal to 13 over 4, or 3 and 1 quarter. So we have the coordinate then that when we have 3 and a quarter, we should get the value of 0. And for the second equation, when p is equal to 0, we have 2c is equal to 6. Um, if we divide both sides by 2, we get c is equal to 3. 3 comma 0. Okay, so now I've worked out both of my axis intercepts for both of the equations. Uh, here they are. Uh, I'm going to make sure I color code them so I don't make any mistakes. And then I'm going to graph these on the grid that I've made earlier. So here we go. We're going to first plot this point here, 4, 4 and a third. Now remember, in any normal graph, this will be my x and this would be my y. But for our particular example, we've said that Cocoa Pops is the x and the Pringles is the y, represents the y. So we've got 0, 4 and a third. So let's put that down. So that's 0 along the x-axis and then 4 and a third going up to the y. So I'm going to mark that point there in yellow, 4 and a third. Let's go back. And so for the second point, remember my C and then my P. My C is 3 and a quarter and my P is 0. So my C here is going to be 3 and a quarter. That's going to be right there, 3 and a quarter. And then at 0. So let's mark that point, 3 and a quarter, 0. So I can draw a straight line through that point there. And then let's go back to the second equation. So we've got 0, 6. So let's plot that here. 0, 6. 0, 6. And then we have 3 comma 0, so 3 comma 0. And then we can draw this line in. So where the graphs intersect will give us the solution for how much a Cocoa Pops and the Pringles pack costs. So let's have a look at this then. We'll go up to the line of intersection and then we'll go across to see how much the value is. So at this point, we have 2.5 or 2.5 reals, okay, for a pack of Cocoa Pops. And over here we have one or one real for a pack of Pringles. So once we set up a system of equations and we've worked out the x and y intercept or any two points on that graph, and then we plot that graph, we can find the point of intersection to be the solution for x and y, or in this case, for the Cocoa Pops and the Pringles pack. So I hope you enjoy that. I've done a few more examples where I've done elimination and substitution. So make sure you check those out in the playlist. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.